Scorpio, hello. Welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess. Now, I've just done your whole reading and realized I didn't hit record. I do not know what is going on with the energies of the readings at this moment. But anyway, I'm going to do it again. So this is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate. It is about any kind of connection that you have with somebody. It may or may not be love. There may have been love in the past there. Uh, if you'd like to skip the spiels of all of my readings, I will put a timestamp at the bottom of the reading. They're not time specific. So I do apologize for last week. I had a real trouble getting all the readings out last week. My energies were just pulled different directions. And then my internet connection was really, really slow and it took ages to upload them. So if that happens again this week, I do apologize. I am usually like to be pretty regular because I put these out on a time schedule, but I just kind of getting the feeling that we've just got to do the best that I can in this situation that we're all in at this moment. So like I said, this may or may not resonate at this time, but if it doesn't, you could go through your uh, rising and moon signs as well, have a look at those readings, or you can come back and look at some of the readings through the channel at different times. And maybe this is something that might resonate for you like months down the track. So I'm just going to get stuck straight into it, Scorpio. This is a connection with somebody I feel that you kind of have cut off <laughs> that you don't like and you just want to remove yourself from their energy basically so I've got you as the fox energy and they are the fish you are pretty happy and they are struggling and I, I have to say I think you're actually pretty happy with them getting their comeuppance there's a little bit of a case of revenge is a dish be best served cold is very much kind of like you're saying karma has come to got you to get you you know this is uh you've just had enough of this person it's yeah i just get the sense with this that you're happy and they they are struggling with the fact that you've kind of let them go you've gotten off the hook with that fish energy so for you, the cards I pulled out here were the devil, the king of wands and the fool energy. So the devil is the energy that you've managed to get yourself away from to cut the cord. I kept getting the words cutting the cord from this person. There's a real fearful, toxic energy around this person, just a negative. And if it's not that deep, it's just a negative energy that you just don't want to be around this person. So you've just kind of gone, okay, I can't have this person anywhere in my psyche, anywhere in my energy field. I can't be connecting with them at all. It's just not good for me. So you've stepped into your power here with that King of Wands and made some very uh, strong decisions, taken some action. Now, I got as well that some of you will be taking physical action, but if your soul is also taking action. So if you're like, well, I don't think that I actually instigated this. I was getting that your soul has kind of said, no, nah, this person needs to be out of your energy field. You don't need that low vibrational energy there. And what it's done is it's created this beautiful new beginning, this beautiful space of the full energy, which is this lovely, fresh, ready to step into something new. There's a new beginning here. There's, uh, you know, a lightness as well. You've gotten rid of all that toxic darkness that was intertwined in your energy. And there's a lightness, a willing to start for some of you to take a risk, but to just step into the unknown. But I'm feeling very happy about this. For them, they got... The King of Swords, which is kind of you as well, Scorpio, the Two of Swords and the Ten of Swords, you very much just come in and there's all these swords, obviously, uh, cut them out. It, it has affected them quite badly, like this distancing and cutting the cord. You know, they've experienced this as quite a very uh, difficult ending for them. And I don't, they may not have seen this coming as well. And they also don't understand. Uh, there may be a part of them that doesn't understand that you are very serious about this and don't want them in your energy field. And so they're trying to find some sort of clarity, mentally, mental clarity around this, but I don't think they're succeeding. And I feel like uh, they just see you as very strong-minded. Perhaps they understand that you've made up your mind here, but they just don't. There's a lot of confusion here. So the message from the universe you got was intuition, which is basically saying that this is something that 
you knew had to happen. You kind of might have known this for a while. I felt like there was like a knocking, your intuition might have been knocking. You know, you get that sense where it just kind of is telling you for a while, this isn't right. You need to remove this energy from your space. And so it's very much, yeah, you trusted your intuition. It was the right thing to do, Scorpio. And definitely, you know, it was just you were able to have a, a vision of the future and to see that this isn't right. This isn't where you wanted to go. You didn't want to take this energy into the future with you. And so, yeah, I feel like a very intuitive decision, but the right decision. From the angels, you got the message of trust. So there might be some of you that are doubting this decision, some of you not at all, but it's saying the universe is saying trust this new space that you find yourself in now because it is the right space for you. It's a beautiful space and it was just to trust it was the right course of action to really remove this person and cut the cord uh, yeah, cut the cord of any kind of attachment to them within your psychic field within your energy field. And then for the outcome of this connection as it stands as is, and as I know this is a potential outcome, or, uh, but also, you know, energies can shift and change. We got this lovely, beautiful, fresh new energy coming in here with two aces and the six of swords. So clear mind, clear heart. It feels like something has lifted from your heart here. There is the Six of Swords is moving to calmer waters, feeling a lot clearer and happier all of a sudden. And especially around, you know, this could be affecting those around you that you love as well, bringing them into a happier place. If you're in a happier place, it's going to bring them into a happier place. There's replenishment and love coming in on a heart level. And also in the mind, you're suddenly very clear. And so I just feel like you're in this wonderful, fresh new space here there where it, you feel almost cleansed. <laughs> you almost feel cleansed of this energy, which is really, really amazing and really good. So yeah, I feel like a, a burden has been lifted. And at the bottom of the deck, I don't always read the bottom of the deck, but this one seemed poignant, was the second, the seven of swords. Yet yeah, you've definitely left this situation. It was the right thing to do, Scorpio. So I really hope uh, that I've hit record. <laughs> but I know I have, I checked. And I hope that you're all well. I hope this resonates for some of you. Please take care. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Uh, talk to you next time, Scorpio. Bye.